Carbon accounting is a key part of our net zero journey, and open banking platforms are playing a surprisingly crucial role in this. Founded in 2012, Tink empowers businesses to provide clear data to their customers on their carbon footprint and ways to be more sustainable. I'm delighted to welcome Rafa Plantier, Tink's head of UK and Ireland. Uh, Rafa, thanks for being with us. Thank you for having me. Uh, financial services and particularly financial technology can feel to a lot of people like a very complex area. How do you make it simple? Yeah, I would say financial services is, is conceptually simple in the way that people understand what a transaction or what a mortgage is, but it's operationally complex. Actually getting a mortgage or remortgaging is incredibly difficult. And I would say for all, ultimately it comes, it has two big problems. One is a data mobility problem. It's very hard to get your transactional history from you know, your current bank provider to a potential, no, your mortgage partner. And it's very, it, there's also a, data, a computational issue to make sense out of all of this data. And this is, this is our space. How does Tink's offering support our collective journey to net zero? Yeah, we're very proud of uh, one of our, our partner, the NatWest Group announced that during COP26, their carbon tracker uh, in, in app solution. So if you're if you a NatWest app user, you can check it out. We are the partner that goes from the, helps NatWest go from the raw data to enrich data so that another partner, Kogo, who's the echo expert here, can say, okay, this is the carbon that I can, the carbon emissions that I can derive from these transactions. And that is, I think, a fantastic example of, of open banking delivering like something that was never possible before, which is like a, a, a real-time assessment of um, your, your, your carbon emissions by, by the decisions that you've made, the parties you've transacted with. And if we look to the future, what are you most excited about, particularly when we, when we talk about sustainability? I'm really excited about the expansion of this data pool. So as I mentioned, like, we, we, we help people make sense of their financial data. That actually means data that sits on what we call payment accounts, because that's what PSD2 regulated over. But people's financial lives include mortgages, pensions. Um, so we're, we're on this journey of moving from open banking to what we're calling open finance. And that's really exciting because that that's that is some of that encompasses some of the most important financial decisions, decisions that people will make in their lives. Um, I'm also excited about, from a carbon perspective, being able to get from what we call SKU level the actual itemized um, carbon impact of each uh, thing you buy, all the way through the supply chain, from the from the manufacturer to the to the supermarket to, to whoever is delivering what we call scope one, two, and three emissions, like the upstream and downstream, all the way to the mobile app, so that you know, consumers and business can make uh, better decisions from a from a carbon emission perspective. So, mm -hmm. a lot lot to come. Yeah, certainly a lot to come. Rafa Plantier, thank you so much. Thank you for having me.